how it works. Today we're going to go over how a traditional pellet stove works. All pellet stoves are going to need pellets to operate on. You will fill up the hopper. At the bottom of the hopper is a auger that's going to bring the pellets up at an angle and then drop them into the burn pot down below here. The reason for that is they want to separate the line of fuel from the hopper from the burn pot. So then the fire can't run back into the hopper. So by bringing the pellets up and dropping them down, there's no constant line of fuel from the fire to the hopper. Below the burn pot is the igniter. So once you turn the stove on or turn the temperature up and there's a call for heat, the pellet stove is going to begin to run the auger. Once the pellets start dropping into the burn pot, the igniter is told to kick on along with a fan kicks on that's going to run the vent system. These are completely different than a wood stove. It's going to be operated with a mechanical draft fan versus natural draft, which you'd find in a wood stove. So they do require electricity to operate. You also, during operation, need to have the hopper lid closed. The door would need to be closed as well. Once the fire is established, the convection fan will kick on, and that's going to blow heat across the top of the heat exchange through a series of tubes or chambers and out these holes into the room. And that's going to circulate the room air and get the room warmer faster.